Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Sagittarius for love and relationship for the month of October 2024. <laughs> Okay, ah, uh, you feel like you know that you are really drained, not getting anywhere with anything that you want. You feel like you know that if you are really married, you want to really lose this relationship, you want to walk away from it, you want divorce, you want to lose it. Um, you want you are mad and angry about being like you know, really being uh, taken advantage of. Um, and this person, I get here that he or she not really understanding you at this current time because it says here that he or she is not going anywhere. They don't want to lose you. They don't want to leave you. They are really mad and angry about you not really progressing with him or her because you want to push this person away. You want to isolate yourself from this family. I get here, this person is holding on you very strongly. He or she does love you very much. They believe in this marriage like, you know, it's really solid between you and them. And I get here that they are feeling that they are losing you. You are pushing them away. You love this person very much. You know that this person loves you, but they make you very responsible. It's kind of like they are burying you behind like your responsibility and they care for themselves is kind of like oh it's okay she or he can do everything that you can do everything you take care of things you know how to deal with it they don't have to do anything you're kind of like shut down closed off you want this person, you want them to understand you, you want them to help you, to open up, like, you know, to share with you ideas, to share with you something, to do something. You give them ideas, many ideas, like, you know, to, to work with that relationship, to work with something between you two. But you feel like, you know, no, I'm not really going to be really there anymore. I'm done with talking, really, with this person, like, you know, or telling them what to do. You have also maybe kids or children also, you tell them what to do, you give them ideas, you give them something, but they are not really listening to you either. And you are kind of like in between yes and no, trying to accept a relationship that is really making you unhappy. You feel like you know, maybe you deserve someone who really can really help you to be there, to give you like you know, maybe some money or financial and tell you, sit there, don't even work anymore. You don't have to do anything because you did work a lot like you know, in the past. but. You feel like you know, that no, no, no one is going to be really there. Um, you have really a job also that you love this job and you wanted to deal with this job from the beginning as you desire or want, or you joined like you know, a certain company or a certain job like you know, that you want them to be giving you that extra or exact position that they give you like you know, a different. Uh, uh, field or a different thing that is not you and you want like for example you are a reporter and you want to be really writing in the newspaper or different ideas and they tell you okay 
um, work like you know, go and work like you know on uh, grocery stores. Find people like you know or work on romance or novel or something like that, and you are like, no, I want to be political. I want to be someone. It's not giving you exactly the position that you want, and you hate it, and you want to lose it. You want to walk away from it. It's kind of like it's devastating you completely. A relationship is not really coming to your grasp as you want. You want to break sometimes. You don't want to be really doing anything. But it's kind of like you try from here and there and it's not working. According to love, you are really a very caring person. You are very loving. You give, you give, you give. But the other person take advantage and they feel like you know, why you are complaining you are being negative at this current time. You want to walk away from me. You want to walk away from your responsibility. Okay, they want you to be comfortable. They want you to sit around. They want you to be really like you're doing something. But it's like, now what? You want to leave me because like, you know, I'm not doing something. I'm not being able to do everything that you do. You are really doing it better. And they are relying on you. And you are like, you know, this isn't the way. You mean very well when you work in your job and you are really like, you know, there. And you want really to really give your ideas like, you know, really for... Uh, the people in the company to say like, you know, okay, you are telling them like, we can work on this and bring really tons of money or we can open a new avenue to that job and bring like, you know, the living more or, or the company can benefit from this. It's like you want to do something and nobody is listening. My opinion, not the cars, like, you know, this is my opinion. Because when I say my opinion, I say it. But if it's really the cars are telling you or your guide is telling you what to do, I will say it too. If you are that way and you want really to run somebody's business, it's really better to have your own business and run it the way you want. Because when you enter a business or a company or somebody and you work for them, they want you to listen to them as what they want because everybody are different. Yes, your ideas are really good, but they are not really welcoming your idea at this current time because they know if they enter that field or really different, like, you know, really something that you are talking about, they're going to lose tons of money and it's not the right timing to do that. So you should not be really be angry or unhappy at this current time. I don't see you leaving a relationship if you want to leave that relationship. You are saying that, but you are not really leaving because you don't realize exactly what you want. Like, you know, sometimes, like, you know, ah, you want to do something different. The spouse or the person, they say, I understand you. I feel with you. I love you. I care for you. Don't really be mad and angry like that. I will do whatever. I will try. But they are not doing it. And you are kind of like, I'm angry with that. Some of you are single and you are not really married and you desire someone really very much and you want to be with them and you want a commitment and sincerity, but that other person, it feels to them like you know, that they want to be marrying someone else, the person that you love. It's just because they feel like you know, that they can really like you know have uh, kids or children. Maybe you cannot or maybe you are older than this person. And it's really devastating you and you will say, okay, we can work on it. I can't really like, you know, just go to a doctor and work it out, uh, make implants, uh, work on hormones. It's like you are pushing or pulling your teeth or grind your teeth with that person and this person is not listening. But they are really trying. They, 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 they don't have someone else at this current time to, uh, to be with them anyway. But you feel like you know, that not everything that you want is there for you. And it's devastating you completely. The, if you are married to someone, they let you like to do your own business sometimes, to work like you know with things that you like, to earn your own money. But they have money to give you. They feel like you know that I have money, we can really live. But okay, even if they have money, they are not really giving you what you want or desire. Like you know, it's not like you know, here is my bank account. Spend as much as you want. No, they are not. So it's making you like, oh, overwhelmed, stressed out. You want really to do something really big, huge, like, you know, big projects. But you are not really being able to. You feel like you know, that this person is really being really a control freak. Like, you know, like you have to be with me and help me and be there for me. But I cannot really like you know, do whatever you want. They cannot do whatever you want. You know what I mean? 
It's like you are coming from too many angles. It's making you angry and devastated. Calm your emotions. Love is there for you. But you are taking it the hard way. You want really a change. You want to change things. Either in your company to change like, you know, uh, it's like you are telling the boss, get off that chair. I'm going to sit there and run the company because you don't know how to run it. You cannot do that. Okay. And even with the spells, like you, know, you feel like, you know, that you should be really the spells. You should be in control of everything. You want to do everything, but that person is not listening to you. It's devastating you. Sometimes you sit alone. You don't want to complain because every time you open your mouth, you know, the other person taking you wrong, they cannot stand it. They don't want you to yell, scream, uh, or say your opinion about things. A lot of you are like, you know, involved with someone that who is really involved with someone else. Um, you could be a single person also, in, and the other person is involved with someone else. And I get here that you don't want any problems with this family, like, you know, of his or hers. Because you might be really working for that person. He or she could be your boss also. You want them to be really leaving the other person and be with you. And it says here you will be if you give it some time. A lot of you are like, I did. I have been with this person for a long time. Um, some of them are willing to do it. But I get here timing is really very important to them. A lot of them. They don't want to leave the spells because they benefit from them also. That's why they don't want to be really leaving that person. So everybody is needing everybody. It's tangled. You cannot force issues. But some of you are leaving all of that behind and really running after a new love, a new relationship for someone to understand you. You're going to find that love too. The person in your life, I get here that they don't want to argue. They don't want any argument. They don't want you to confront them or speak to them. And they are walking on eggshells with you because they don't want to upset you or hurt you. And it's really working like you no know, really in a bad way for you. You don't want to, you want this person to help you on a big project to give you so you can really handle finances or money or situation by yourself. And I get here, this person is not really coming through to you. And they tell you, no, walk away from that idea because they don't welcome it. And you find yourself lucky to do things on your own. I see you like, you know, managing to do a new business, a new work, a new job, a new something, an idea that on your mind you're going to do it. And I get here, you can really start from scratch and you're going to do it. Or you left a business before in the past that wasn't really working. And you want really that support financially, you're gonna find it. You're lucky, year is coming next year, and you're gonna do it. You will be lucky financially. And I see extra money on your paycheck, or a new overtime, or it could be like you know, really having your own business, and it's gonna be really very good, also. Best of luck for you, dear Sagittarius. I hope you enjoy the reading. And if you need a private reading, please contact me. The link for my website is below this video, mysticalaziz.com. Um, after you click uh, purchase your reading, please give me a call. My phone number is listed on my website. I'm also on TikTok under Mystical Aziza, one word. If you want to join, it's up to you. Um, it's the same videos anyway. I might really put something new like you new know, in uh, in a few days, but I'm not really sure yet because there is an idea. I'm going to surprise everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the reading. See you next time. Bye-bye.